Youth for Development is a 12-month programme for 18 to 25 year olds. Um, volunteers work in one of 34 countries with BSO's local partners in those countries. We have different tools to respond to partners' needs and sometimes a youth volunteer is really the best option. In my last career, I didn't really have a purpose like long term, I didn't really see myself working there. Um, so I looked at the Youth Development Programme and I sort of saw a match of where I wanted to go in, in the future, so I, I applied. I've basically done quite a bit of research on doing work abroad and out of most of the organisations that I found, VSO seemed like the best choice and um, actually fits in with the values that I have and the things that I want to achieve. We want to make sure that volunteers are well prepared and well supported and thought through the realities of working and living overseas. The training is of a high standard and prepares you before you go away. Um, it's quite rigorous and it's quite intense, but it sort of put you in the mindset that there are going to be difficulties and challenges. Considering what you were going to be missing in your life um, once you went out there, how you were going to find the support that you're used to in terms of family and like I have a boyfriend so I'd consider what that would mean and how I was going to cope with not having him around and how you can work on that whilst you're away. I don't have a, a degree in development or much knowledge in it but I work with young people so doing this training has given me so much knowledge about um, why there is poverty and the reasons why um, volunteers are used. Which was, it is the very best time to be alive when almost everything you thought you knew is wrong. And I mean, it isn't true. Training was just invaluable and really started making us think about what is going on in the world, how we relate to it, um, what international development means, um, the history of it. There's so much to cover, but it's all so interesting and getting you excited about it as well. <laughs> it's all very well structured, participatory approaches, lots of, you know, get on your feet, which turns what could be a very dry exercise indeed into something that is far more enjoyable, though still very intense. And so you look at their challenge and come up with some possible solution and take someone else's. So, um, the group... One thing that BSO is very clear on is the worst image you can possibly have is, you know, a white westerner standing in a room lecturing uh, a room of, of black people who are living in a third world country. We will almost certainly learn far more than the people that we're working with will learn from us. <laughs> There is a fundraising element to the YFD programme. We give some fundraising training and they um, will have some one-to-one -one support on fundraising. You can tailor it to whatever you enjoy doing, really. I found the fundraising process really daunting and really scary. I fundraise by organising a concert in town. I fundraise by running the London Marathon. I was silent for... 10 hours <laughs> while serving customers. Some friends and I will raid from Oxford to London. Yeah, I fundraised by taking part in the London Triathlon. I organised a pub quiz. And I've done the car boot sale. Eventually, I was able to exceed the amount um, by quite a lot. So it was OK in the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
here is a group of 50, 60, 70 young people full of energy, sensitive, with a buzz about them, which you don't get very often in this world. So on past occasions, I've always gone away from a day like this, feeling, yes, there is hope in the world. I feel very comfortable now in going away. The type of placements really varies. We know that we always need people who've got fundraising experience people who've got campaigning and advocacy experience, um, people who've got youth empowerment or youth work experience. Peer education does tend to be quite a strong focus and that's really building on the fact that young people working with other young people is really very powerful. Youth for Development is, is a key tool, a key part of um, working towards VSO's aims and, uh, and objectives. Mongolia has a very high young population and so any area that we work in, we're going to be working with young people. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is UBS Music in English. Good evening everyone, here's a brand new episode of UBS Music in English and tonight we have Rob on the show once again. Hi, uh, so good yeah. evening Rob. Good evening, hi, it's nice to be here, thanks for having me again. Yep. Yeah. And we have a special guests tonight and we're going to get to the show again, that was really cool. Uh, I hope you guys at home enjoyed it. Yes, and uh, we'll be getting back. Being a TV presenter isn't my main job. It's just one of the things that presented itself to me during my time in Mongolia. The local music TV station came up to me and asked if I wanted to participate. My main day job is working with the Mongolian network of volunteering organisations. What I'm doing is trying to help Mongolian people to become volunteers and help the organisations that work with these volunteers. So let's head off to my workplace, Amnesty International Mongolia. Let's go. The main objectives of my placement are to, to help this collective network grow. So we're doing things like uh, trying to get more publicity for the network, trying to get more funding, uh, produce more resources, and in doing so, the network will then be a really effective tool to support Mongolia's volunteering community. The skills that I've developed during my placement would be definitely time management because I'm moving around different organisations all the time and I guess also connects to that coordinating things. I've really had to develop my people skills because I'm uh, working with a huge variety of people from directors and sometimes even politicians down to your everyday volunteer, um, some people who don't have a formal education so you've got to explain things in different way to them as well. Uh, Rob, as a useful development volunteer, was a tremendous help to Amnesty Mongolia, for example, because um, he is uh, enthusiastic and he's young, so he can um, also recruit new members, students, and um, also um, our student group members are very enthusiastic and um, they are happy to work with him as a young people. Yeah. 